All right, what is going on, everybody? We are back. We got some uh, Clash of Clans. Uh, we're going to be doing a war, uh, 5v5 war. These are my five accounts right here on the screen. Um, and we're going to be going up against uh, this clan. A uh, little bit of a mismatch uh, at the bottom end where they have two Town Hall 9s and I have uh, a Town Hall 9 and a Town Hall 8. But I think I might, it's a low level Town Hall 9, uh, and I might actually have a plan for uh, the bottom one. Uh, basically what's going to end up happening is, um, let's see, let's do that and do that. Um, so uh, my Town Hall 8 is going to attack 5 and 4, but then my Town Hall 9 is most likely going to have to attack. Uh, well, it may have to attack the um, both nines. Um, if I get three stars on those, then I can take my 10 to attack their 10 and their 11. Take my 11 to attack their 11 and their 10 uh, if needed. And then I would only have one attack, no scout attack on their 12. So, um, hopefully what I can do is, um, take out five with my Town Hall 8, nine, uh, four with my Town Hall 9, do a scout attack on the Town Hall 10, and be able to triple the 10 with my 10, and be able to do a scout attack on 11, and then be able to triple the 11 with my 11, and then do a scout attack on their 12, and... Uh, triple their 12 um, but we'll start off with um, a game plan here so this is my thoughts on um, this base um, with my town hall 8 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send my BK Barb King in to take out this Barb King and run down this way as much as he can. So that means, um, and I'm going to do mass drag. I'm going to do zap drag basically. Um, so I'm going to do uh, zap here to try to get the queen and the air defense. A zap here to get the air defense in this sweeper. Um, and if I have enough, which I think I should have enough. Uh, zaps to do all that and still have uh, zaps to put here to take out that air defense and that air defense um, leaving only this air defense so my CC has um, Town Hall 10 level dragon in a balloon uh, so I'll put a dragon on this collector a dragon on this collector that should that should help keep the barb king over on this side on the outside um, and then really I'm just gonna have drags um, in between here to come in and take out the rest of the base we're gonna go from this side to get to this air defense as quickly as we can uh, he does have a storage there uh, and then the um, expos but um, we'll see um, how that goes. We want the CC to kind of come down this way and uh, keep these drags headed in to the base. Um, so that's kind of the plan for that. Um, that base. And then... Um, see not that um, this one maybe oh, I forget how to do this it's been a while so we do that that's it all right and then for this base with my town hall 8 going to be kind of the same thing um I, I, with this one though i think i would it's going to be more of a scout attack so 
Um, for the Town Hall 8, the plan is uh, zap this. Hopefully that gets that. Um, maybe zap that or that and try to get the queen in that air defense or that uh, air sweeper there um if not uh i'm gonna send my cc to go after the queen um bk again down this side um and then drags Um, to head in to the base that way um, so that's for the, uh, the the town hall 8 scout attack um, however I'll probably just drag this um, this base with my town hall 9 maybe Lalo I don't know um, but basically the same plan um, zap in that zap in this stuff in the queen zap that if I don't get the queen then um, I'll try sending my BK at her and then I'm gonna queen walk down this way to get that air defense I'm gonna wall break in there with it, I'm gonna throw. I'll throw a drag out here uh, to clean up this stuff, um, so that she turns into the base to go after this stuff. If I don't have enough zaps and zap, well, zap quakes uh, to take out this stuff, I'll leave that for the queen and focus on these two over here, um, and then let the queen kind of do her thing. Um, to try to get these other two um, and if she does well then this base is gonna be pretty easy I could send the drags then from anywhere um, Queen should take you know all of this stuff um, when she turns in here she should start taking this stuff if I take the BK at the Queen um, then I could just drag in this way um, I don't see anything that would be um, problematic uh, for the dragons um, so that's kind of the game plan um, on this video, I'll probably just do the um, but anyway, that's kind of the basic plan for um, uh, what the heck? Anyway, that's kind of the basic plan. Um, so we'll get in here. We'll do our... Um, I do have my uh, armies trained. Um, army trained. It's ready to go. It's just With this, it's just drags. So um, let's uh, make sure we got our game plan. So zap up here and we'll have to wait until the queen gets in position um doesn't look like she's going to be right on the um the air defense she gets close so um i'll have to be you know spot on precise kind of with that um with those zaps and then we're going to zap that and zap that BK up there, CC over there, drags in from up there. Um, all right. Going in. Three, two, one. Let's get it. All right. 
right, so we're going to go down here and we're going to try to get this queen first. And then I have the higher level. Um, okay, so I can only get two. But that's fine. All right, so now we're going to send the CC. I'm going to wait for that king to jump out, come around over this side, and then I'm going to send my BK. Because the dragons will get um, distracted by uh, the barb king. So we'll get that going there. Uh, this is probably going to fail. But... That's what you get when you, um, you know, have a bit of a mismatch. All right, so now we know there's an electro drag in the, that CC. So you can pretty much guarantee there's going to be electro drags in CCs. Um, okay. <laughs> um, man, that's weird because I thought that the um, hmm. I thought that the air defense hit points were two. See, this is, this is where I'm, I'm confused. Oh. No, I was looking at the wrong number. His damage per second is 230. Hit points is 1050. Okay. Okay. Um, so, we now know what's in that and what we're going to have to deal with. Um... We'll get the uh, clan castle troops, and then we'll get the um, the Barb King back up and we'll go do our scout attack on um, the other Town Hall 9, so that kind of sucks that uh, I wasn't able to get uh, get that. Uh, all right, so I have a drag army cooked already for this. Um, actually, let me take a look and see. Um, scout this. Yeah. So I think for this, when I do this attack with with uh, my town hall nine I'm gonna get a, uh, an electro dragon in my uh, clan castle and then for this one I keep going the wrong way um, for this one yeah maybe an electro dragon for this one too because if I don't get the queen I can get some chaining off of the army camp gold mine and gold storage that might end up taking her out. So, I can pretty much guarantee uh, there's going to be a um, electric drag uh, in there. Um... An electro drag is gonna um, what's it called? It's gonna is gonna target everything, anything that I send. So we need something that can deal with it. Um,
Hmm. If I send an electro drag and take out their queen. Could send a hog that would from over here that would target the cannon and get the CC pull if it's just one electro drag um, or even from up here might be easier because the clan castle draw uh, will definitely happen if it goes after either of these two defenses. Um, but still kind of do the same thing and head with my queen walk and stuff and still still drag it. Um, but have to deal with that CC. Um, which hopefully we can find out what's in it uh, from this next attack. So, I will see you once my uh, Barb King has uh, regained his health. Um, it's going to be seven minutes for me, but for you, it's going to be... All right, well, we're back, and um, we're going to do our other scout attack here. Um, basically... <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is just going to be to pull the CC and see what's in it. Um, I don't think that, uh, you know, this is max nine hall or max town hall nine level defenses. Um, so, um, just want to see what this queen, what her route and path is. Um, so we should be able to get her, yeah, once she goes into that area uh, with the um, with the zaps. Actually, I'm not going to get her with the zaps because um, might have to start zap the ones up here first uh, nah she should make her way around oh, I did get her okay so what we're gonna do is we'll send Head down that way, we'll send the king up there. And then we'll just drag in. Should get the CC pull once they get on the archer tower. And yes, another electro dragon. Drags are dropping quick. Hey, we, we once started this one, which is higher level defenses. But uh, yeah, we struggled with the uh, the first one. But that's all right. That that's that's all I can do with that account right now. Um, you can attack up from starting at Town Hall Nine. Town Hall Eight. It's it's kind of tough to attack up. Um, but that's two um, Town Hall 8 um, attacks. Um, we'll be back with the Town Hall 9 attacks here um, next. All right, so we're back. Um, we're going to do our first Town Hall 9 attack. 
Town Hall 9 v Ta Town Hall 9. Uh, again, we're going to zap up here, get the queen, zap here, get the um, air sweeper and the air defense. Uh, we're going to send our... We're going to send our heroes down this way, take out the enemy Barb King, and just work down this side of the base. Um... The CC with the Electra drag in it is going to go on this corner. And then the drags are just going to, I'm just going to drag on in from, basically it's the same plan. Um, just with higher level troops, higher level spells, with an Archer Queen, and um, higher level uh, Barb King. So, um, all right. Got everything we need. So we got... Earthquake spells on this one uh, to quake any, uh, you know, to see if I can save on some of the uh, the lightnings and maybe get a third uh, air defense and that other sweeper out maybe or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where where we we, we end up placing the um, the uh, additional um, lightning spells. So in three, two. One, let's get it. Again, we're going to use the higher level um, lightning spell to try to hit the queen with it and take her out. That's fine. We'll just weaken that up a little bit. in, drags behind. Electro drag, tanking the, uh, the expo there, which is good. So we still got a big pack of uh, of drags. Um, they need to link back up before this pack gets to this storage. If they can link back up, they should be able to power through the rest of the base. They all need to get that storage down quickly. Get that archer tower down quickly and then split off boom get that expo down get that cannon down all the defenses are gone and the only thing left is that um builder hut and boom three star all right well the scout attack from my town hall eight worked um the <laughs> zap drag worked and uh now um 
we got some time for the uh, heroes to regen, and we got some time for, well, not a lot of time for the army to build, but as you can see, uh, I'm gonna be doing a queen walk, drag. The hog is gonna be just to um, lure the CC. Um, and then uh, I'm gonna get another electro drag um, in the, the CC for, um, I, think it, I think I want a, a, an electro drag, right? Let's scout and make sure. Yeah, so I was gonna try to zap the queen out over here, and if I don't, electro drag in on this army camp, chain through, and hopefully take her out um, through its chain. Um, so anyway, uh, like I said, we got uh, some time for the heroes to regen yet. Um, so again, uh, we'll be back once we're ready for the attack. All right, uh, we're back. We got um, our second Town Hall 9 attack against their other Town Hall 9. Uh, just go over the plan one more time. So we're gonna zap this area here, try to get the queen, the air defense, the sweeper, and some damage onto the expo. Um, and then we're gonna zap uh, that air defense. Um, once we have that done, we're gonna send the hog in at this uh, archer tower to get the CC pull. Um, and then um, once the CC's pulled, uh, we'll just uh, drop our queen down here um, and let her deal with the uh, CC. Down here, uh, I'm gonna send a goblin in at this elixir collector. Uh, it should be safe from the wizard tower and the mortar, I think. If I do it right and get it right on that like um, pipe there, uh, which should kind of force the queen to go, you know, into the base. Um, I'm gonna have two archer towers beating down on my uh, archer queen. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. But anyway, uh, nothing I can do about it. That's my plan. Uh, all I can do is um, See if my plan works. So, we are gonna go in three, two, one. Let's get it. Oh. Alright, so we got that uh, out, so that's good. And then we'll just make sure we get her. Alright, so there's the CC pole. And then let's soften them up. Let's get the queen down with our healers. Ah, uh, the expo. Okay, that's fine. OK, 
Okay, so a little change of uh, plans for the CC now. Um, uh, okay. Not really. We need to send the queen back. Or into the base. Okay, this really isn't going to plan, but we still should be okay. I'm going to send the drags from here. How did the healers get off of my queen? Well, shit. I ain't even gonna two star. Okay. Oh shit, my uh, my war abilities are uh, rusty. So, um, to be expected. I mean, um. If I look at my war log, the last time I was in a war was 222 days ago, so. Uh, <laughs> they're going to be rusty. Well, anyway, uh, we're going to get, uh, well, we're going to have to get Town Hall 10 to dip down and get that 9. And then, like I said, hopefully we can get the 10 to do a 3 star on their 10. Um, I'm a little bit more familiar and uh, comfortable with uh, 10s and 11s. Um, I've never done a 12 war attack, so um, we'll see how it goes, but I will see you when we are ready for the Town Hall 10 on the Town Hall 9, and then the Town Hall 10, and then we'll have to go from there and see what the 11s gonna have to do the 11 may have to dip down and get the 10 and then attack the 11 and, and then that'll only leave me one attack on the 12 it'll be a blind attack um, and the 12 may have to dip down and get the 11 but um, like I said I'm more familiar with the armies and com more comfortable with the armies um, at 10 11 um, and even I guess 12 is gonna be you know, I've been doing, you know, the global attacks um, with 12, so. But, anyway, once the 12, the 10 is ready to go, I will see you then. Okay, so we're going to do our um, Town Hall 10 attack, uh, cleanup attack on this Town Hall 9. Uh, it's going to be basically the same strategy. We're going to lightning out this area why is that red uh we're gonna lightning out this area in the queen um we're gonna lightning out uh, that air defense and then um we are maybe again i'm not, I, I can't remember if i have the spell capacity i may actually have the spell capacity to lightning out this area um we are going to send our heroes um here we're going to send our CC from up here this time, though. Because my, 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 my heroes should be able to get the queen with no problem. Um, the clan castle, I'm not too, too worried about. It's an electro drag. Um, uh, 
I may grab a hog like I did. Send it in here to get the, the CC pull. Uh, once it's pulled, um, let it come down here and fight the um, the heroes and then the drags in from here. So, um, let me think about this hog if I need to. And then uh, we'll get going on the attack. Okay, so um, I did decide to bring the hog to pull the CC. Uh, I also brought a baby dragon. I'm going to throw it on this elixir collector to make sure that my heroes run down this side of the base. Um... And I do have uh, balloons as well uh, with the drags uh, just to provide some tanking out in front um, at the beginning here uh, in case I, well, because I'm going to have at least that air defense um, still up, possibly this uh, air defense and stuff. So this is actually going to be a zap quake. Um, so I have... Um, as you will see, I have 10 lightning spells and two um, earthquake spells. I won't be using the siege machine on this attack. Um, I just have it in there from uh, doing my raids and stuff, but I will be using it on my um, attack on the town, on, you know, ten, uh, town hall 10 v town hall 10, uh, which will be coming up next. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's see if we can get this, should be able to, <laughs> uh, dip and down, um, so, um, we are going in three, two, one, let's get it. Okay, so we're going to start off by zapping the queen and the sweeper the expo and uh, the air defense okay and then we're gonna take out that air defense that one um and let's Throw some damage onto that expo. And let's actually take it down. Okay. Send the hog in, get the CC pull. Uh, we're going to put the king, then the baby drag, and then the. Um, Queen. <clears throat> okay, that all looks good. And we can start the main crux of the attack. Save a drag, put them in where, where we need them, but I think this is going to be crushed, so probably not going to need it really anywhere. Maybe just reinforce this side a little bit since there's only one out there. But we got more going to it, and they're just going to walk right through the base. So like I said, I mean, dipping down, Town Hall 10 v Town Hall 9, um, <laughs> you know, obviously very um simple 
So now what we need to do though is we need to triple the 10 with the 10 first try. So I don't have to dip my uh, Town Hall 11 down to the 10. So um, yeah, we'll, um, we'll do the, uh, the Town Hall 10 next. Um, let's see, I've got uh, hybrid. Um, I'm going to get a um, P.E.K.K.A. and Wizards. I don't know how many Wizards. Probably two Wizards and, a, and an Archer um, is going to be about all. I think, I, I think that's what I can hold in there. Um, 35, so let's see. Yeah, 25, 4, and 1. Um, and then we're going to also, um, bring in a poison spell. They only have one spell capacity. So, uh, let's go over the plan. Okay, so, um, here is the plan. Um, we are going to, um, put a baby dragon here on this hut and a baby dragon here on this hut and they should run down this way and down this way, clearing those out. Then I'm going to put the uh, Barb King, the Archer Queen, and the Wall Wrecker, and have them go right through there. The goal is to take out this portion of the base with all that. Um, I may do a similar thing with, uh, one hog rider to go in here and get the CC pull, um, before I do anything, um, with the, um, baby dragon or, at me, well, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I gotta figure that part out yet. Um, that's going to be probably fly by the seat of my pants type thing, but, um, once we get this stuff, uh, in the north all cleared out and the CC, uh, dealt with, we're going to send the, uh, miners and then the hogs behind and they should wrap the base like that um and then as far as uh spells go um we're gonna do uh let's see what is it we're gonna do once the the cc's pulled and and coming up to the um the heroes uh we're gonna do the poison spell and then we're also going to drop in a rage spell here uh, and then we're going to have uh, I think I'm going to drop probably we'll keep an eye on the miners and hogs but the idea is a heal spell a heal spell and a heal spell and then we're gonna keep a poison in the pocket 
for ground skellies um, in through here, wherever they may be, um, to keep the to, to get them off of the, the hogs and the miners or uh, to not slow the miners down too much. Um, so that's the basic plan uh, for this base. Uh, it seems like a, a pretty solid one. Uh, with the miners, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with... Um, I'm going to start with a few on onto this collector so that hopefully they kind of head down this way and start taking these buildings out so that the rest of them stay, you know, inside of the base um, and take, take it out that way. Um, I like the plan. I think it's pretty solid. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So I will see you when... The army and heroes are ready to go. Uh, and I forgot, uh, I have uh, free spells, so um, I may use a freeze up here on the um, clan castle troops. And then, I don't know, maybe I might need a free spell uh, in here or... Up here somewhere maybe at the very end um, but the free spells are also just kind of like uh, you know try to protect the um, try to protect the uh, the miners and the hogs so um, anyway that is the final plan and uh, I will see you when uh, the attack is ready okay um, so we are ready for our attack. So we're going to start off with the baby dragon. The baby dragon. Um, I think I'm going to wait until they die. Send a hog in from down here. Get the CC pole. Uh, drop the barb king. The Archer Queen and uh, the Wall Wrecker uh, deal with the CC and the Barb King. Um, and then once this area is all cleared out, do the hybrid. So, alright. <clears throat> I gotta remember to switch to the Wall Wrecker once I get in. Everything looks good. We are ready to go in three, two, one. Let's get it. Okay, so get that switched. The baby drag, the baby drag. Get a hog ready. The CC pole, wall wrecker, and queen. Queens down. Probably should have waited on the uh, the rage there, but that's all right. Okay. So send in a couple there, and then the rest here.
Man, the hogs are going down quick. I have no more spell support. Um, yeah, the bomb tower, I think, at the very beginning. Uh, needing to use that heal spell real quick. Okay, so uh, we're going to have to dip. But first uh, war in 222 days. So, um, you know, relearning the armies and the attacks and everything like that, uh, it's just going to take some time. So, um, we'll get, uh, pro we'll probably do the same exact plan. Um, the difference is going to be that I'll have a Grand Warden to go with the, um, The hogs and the miners, and uh, higher level uh, heroes to, um, you know, take out uh, more of the base, basically. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we'll just have to. The, uh, I already kind of have a plan for the Town Hall 11 and the Town Hall 12. Um, it's going to take some time to cook up the armies for those, um, those attacks. So I will be back when I am ready to go. Okay. So it's time to do, um, our town hall 11 cleanup on the town hall 10, same basic plan. Um, baby drags till they die, pull the CC with a hog, bring them up to the top with the heroes, minus the Grand Warden. The Grand Warden is going to go with the miners and the hogs. Um, a few more free spells because I have the space and uh, no rage. Um, so yeah. Let's, uh, everything green check marks. So let's, uh, let's get it in three, two, one, let's go. All right. So first thing I need to do is wall wrecker, baby drag, baby drag. Hoggy, King, Wall Wrecker, And we waited for uh, the bomb tower to go down this time. Freezing. I'm going to take those out. Yeah. 
freeze those up. Bunch of miners still left. Some balloons. Uh, looks like a hog or two. A few hogs are still left. Boom. And tripled. All right, so we got our cleanups done. Um, so, as you can see, for the next attack, we are going to be doing uh, Bat Witch. So, for the Town Hall um, 11. Let me get the troops donated, and you'll see. Um, so we're going to donate a bowler, a P.E.K.K.A., and a wizard. And then we are going to, I think it's a rage spell, yeah. Donate a rage spell. And a wall wrecker. Okay, so we got some time, but let's uh, go over the plan. So the plan is we're going to drop uh, an electro drag up here to, to, to take out this stuff. Um, We are going to um, send our Bard King and Wall Wrecker. In through here <clears throat> basically we want to get this uh, single inferno gone um, and then we are going to send uh, da -da -da, let's see We're gonna send an ice golem and an ice golem there with the witches in behind. We're gonna send our queen um, with the healers down this way. Uh, and then, um, I'm going to change the army up a little bit. I'm going to try to wall break. I'm going to wall break. I want to wall break into this. Um, the witches and, uh, their skeletons, uh, I hope should break into here to take out that. Uh, the queen to take out that stuff and I want her to get that up there and then we're gonna put all our bat spells there and we're looking for the bat spells to take out that take out the uh, Grand Warden um, and then uh, should probably go to the cannon and then to the uh, single target inferno uh, and then from there we'll probably freeze this and they should hopefully take that out and basically we're just we're looking for the bats to clear up as much of this as possible um, I'm 
hoping the wall wrecker makes it through at least to there and then the cc troops will come out and take out this stuff and then that'll just leave this section of the base that's going to need dealt with at the end the only real scare up there is going to be that uh expo uh there But hopefully I have the, the spell um, support to get up there and finish that off. Or the spell support to save my um, troops enough to, to get up there and take that stuff out. So... Um, I will see you when we're ready to attack. Okay, so uh, Town Hall 11 v Town Hall 11. <clears throat> Go over the plan one more time, which is uh, Electro Drag up there, Bard King and Wall Wrecker. Uh, we'll probably freeze up the uh, Inferno Tower. Uh, to get it down. Uh, Gollum. There and there probably. With the witches behind. And then the queen walk is going to go down this way. I got wall breakers to break into this compartment. To get the expo and the uh, wizard tower. And then hopefully the wizard tower over here. Um... And then once we get some of that stuff down, um, yeah, bat spells in from up here. So um, we are ready to go. So in three, two, one, let's do it. Electro drag. Or King Wall Wrecker. Going to the golems. Fuck. All right, we're good. Uh, which is Froze too late on the, uh... On the, uh, wizard tower. Okay, well... <laughs> we just have to take it out with the, uh, the Town Hall 12. Like, this whole war, we've had to dip down. Uh, because I haven't been able to do any kind of, uh... You know... Uh, scout attacks or anything like that um, so I have an army built for uh, 
my um, Town Hall 12. So uh, let me switch over to that and then we will get this attack underway. Okay, so um, same basic attack. We just have a little different army. Uh, we're going to be doing a Zap Quake uh, Witches. We got an Ice Golem and a uh, Pekka in the Wall Wrecker. Um, we're going to zap out the uh, Inferno Towers so I don't have to worry about them. Um, and then we'll send everything from the south. And being that this base here is really the same as number one, this is kind of my scout attack. The only difference on this is we're going to have an Inferno Tower still standing. We're going to zap out that Inferno Tower and that Inferno Tower. Um, and, and then basically send everything in from this, south, this southern corner. The wall wrecker, uh, we want it to be kind of from like over here so that it goes in and opens up this compartment for the um, uh, the, the Inferno Tower um, and then get through and uh, get the uh, Eagle Artillery and then on to the Town Hall. So, um, no healers or anything. We're just going to poison up the, the CC and, and battle it. Um, <clears throat> right in place. Um, so, yeah. Um, we are ready to go, so let's do it. Okay. So, just get those out of the way. And then, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And they are gone. Oh, we're doing... Oh, shit. This is the Town Hall 12. Oh, whoops. Okay. Uh, not a big deal. We're just going to drop that. I'm going to freeze that for now because we want to keep the... Grand Warden up. All right, well, it's going to be a two-star, but... <clears throat> but yeah, same basic attack. Um, I mean, well, not same basic attack. We're going to do the same attack on 11. Um, same army, same everything. Nothing different. Uh, the only thing that uh, I wanted to do on 12 was uh, I wanted to do a, a, a troop boost and a hero boost, but this witch is doing some work, but she's going down pretty soon. I was a little worried about that uh, expo there, but 
I mean, we really need to end this. All right, so 75%, eh, not that great, but at least it was a two star. Um, we're just gonna train that army right back up. Um, and we got some time for the heroes, so once they are ready, uh, I'll be back with that attack. Okay, so uh, it's time to do the cleanup attack on uh, the Town Hall 11. The plan this time, instead of sending the Wall Wrecker in like from over on this side by the Archer Tower, I'm just going to send it right up the gut and right up through here uh, to open up both of these compartments to the, both Expos. Um... So, same thing, we're going to zap those out, zap quake those out, and, um, yeah. Uh, here we go. Um, everything looks good there. So, in three, two, one, let's get it. Is ah, I should have waited on the heroes. Damn it. I think this is going to not be good. have anything going on the right flank but the heroes should flip back around if those barbs can get that down the queen's gonna wrap from the looks of it here which is fine still got the king Still got a P.E.K.K.A. Still got some witches. Pop that queen. Yeah, I think we're going to be good. Um, I only got one witch left. Two defenses left. Um, but these... Uh, yeah, that's tripled. Okay, so not a perfect war, but uh, not far off. Uh, all cleanups to 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 get the triples on the um, on these these bases, um, but that was kind of to be expected when you have a town hall eight that has to go against a town hall nine, and like I said. Um, the, um, I think it's easier to attack up starting at Town Hall 9 because you have your Archer Queen. So, uh, you can definitely triple 10s with, uh, Town Hall 9s, um, 11s with 10s and, and so on. Um, but once, uh, once my opponent here, uh, does their attacks or once the war is over we'll come back and see uh, how it ended okay so uh, the war has ended and as you can see I was victorious 
14 stars to 5. They only did 2 attacks, so uh, I don't know if I uh, scared them away from attacking with my superior <laughs> attacking skills. Probably not, because uh, I definitely did not um, attack very well uh, in this war, but... Uh, like I said earlier, 222 days uh, since I've done a war attack. Um, and I was thinking about it and why I haven't. Well, I haven't played in like four months. Uh, but the other part of that is um, that is when I upgraded all of my town halls. So um, the 8 was a 7, the 9 was an 8, the 10 was a 9, the uh 11 was a 10 and the 12 was an 11 so uh, i up upgraded all my accounts and uh it's tough to war when you're a, a new town hall level uh you want to get upgraded um at least heroes and and troops um the base itself doesn't matter too too much um, but you also want to get your defenses upgraded as well, but your troops and your heroes are, are the big thing that you want to get upgraded, um, when, uh, you know, when you're, when you're, um, trying to war. Um, so as you can see, uh, as far as, uh, total destruction, I did 95% total destruction, um, for clan XP, uh, we defeated the enemy war bases. We got our plus 31 uh, clan points or XP, clan XP for that. Uh, we scored six stars, so we got an additional 10. Uh, we scored more than nine stars, so we got an additional 25 for that. And we won the war, uh, so uh, we got an additional 50 uh, clan points uh xp for that we got a total of 116 clan points um so get us closer to a level three clan uh this is my town hall 12 so you can see uh for my efforts in the war i get uh 1.582 million gold and elixir and 8610 um Dark Elixir, jeez, brain fart. Uh, as you can see, they only attacked my uh, my Town Hall 8 and my uh, Town Hall 11. Um, the 11 held uh, anti-3 star base uh, that I ran there. Um, <laughs> the Town Hall 8, um, it's just, you know, it's a Town Hall 8, right? So, um Anyway, uh, that is going to do it for this war. Uh, I plan on doing more. Um, I'll try. If you like the, the, the planning parts of the video that I did, uh, let me know in the comments. And I'll keep doing that. Uh, if not, I can cut them out and that will cut the videos down uh, quite a bit. Um, but I do have to figure out how to cut the videos down, um, a little bit more. So what I may do in the future is, um, just do the war and then come back and, um, just watch the replays and kind of comment that way, um, might be, um, a way to cut the videos down. Uh, but if you like seeing the attacks done live, uh, again, comment down in the, the, the comment section. Let me know that, hey, you'd rather see the attacks done, you know, live uh, rather than the, the replays and me commenting over the replays. Um, but uh, anyway, that is going to do it for this video. If you could... If you wouldn't, you could. If you haven't already, hit that thumbs up for me on the way out. I would appreciate it. If you're new here, you like what you see, and you want to see more of it, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I do go live. 
Anyways, with all that being said, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.